All right, we're here at K and K with our first place winner from our OTS World Celebration. And uh, what deck did you play? Uh, I played True King Dinosaur Yang Zings. Cool. The deck that was least hit by the ban list, because that's what wins. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so uh, by this point, everyone should know what all the dinosaurs do, so I'm not going to BS all those. You got the three over raptors, best card in the deck, obviously. Um, three missiles, second best card in the deck, searches out all of you, everything you need. Um, for the babies, I played three baby and then just one petite. I cited this card out a lot. Petite's like not very good, especially in this where Diagram wasn't at three. So um, you didn't really just need all the babies in your hand. You generally wanted to open up like one and, and that'd be it. But um, yeah, it was good. Uh, two of the tuner. Um, this is the Yang Zing variant, so you're always synchro summoning. So it's good to have, if you draw one of these, it's good to have another one in deck for your big plays. Uh, one of the changes I made, obviously, in my deck, because I played the two conductor instead of one. Um, this card's insane. It just steals wins for no reason. It's giant boss monster most people can't deal with, and it's easy to make, so uh, obviously solid. Uh, main deck the Dogron for the other giant dinosaur. Uh, I was I figured there'd be a lot of either mirrors or um, true Draco, so I just wanted to have a main deck out to Masterpiece, which is the only reason I played it. Uh, for the True Kings, we did... Uh, Three Litho and then the one Agnamazud. Um, I normally don't play the Agnamazud, but again, diagram not being a three, you had to go out and compensate. Um, it was solid though. It was it was good. Uh, I don't think I ever actually summoned this day. Maybe one time, but whatever. It's good. Um, so that's it for the True Kings, Yang Sings, two Suwani, one Beyond, one Chi Win. Um, not really much more you want to say here. I've contemplated playing a second Chi win because it's really good, but you don't really need it. And uh, yeah, I think this ratio is correct. I, I don't think there's a real change to make to this unless you're starting to play a far more Yangzing heavy variant. But if you're just playing like dinosaur true king stuff, like I think this is the correct ratio. Um, everything was solid. You always want to have something to float into with uh, your dang and stuff. Um, for the hand traps, we did three Ash Blossoms and the one Max C. Pretty standard. I think Ash Blossoms the GOAT. It's the best uh, hand trap in the game. Better than Ghost Ogre for sure. I think so anyway. It kind of stops everything that Ghost Ogre stops plus more. It stops desires and stuff which is nice. But um, yeah, Ash Blossom was good all day. So that's it for the monsters. Spells. We have three Fossil Dig obviously. Rota for any dinosaur. Search Raptor. Search anything broken. Um, just the one diagram and the two terraformings. Uh, obviously, you'd want to play more, but World's List is World's List. Uh, I didn't play any other field spells. I didn't feel like, like it sucked drawing terraforming after you already had Diagram, but if you already had Diagram, it didn't freaking matter because you're winning the game. Um, so I played two path instead of the one. I wanted to just be able to recycle everything like more and more and more. Uh, I knew some of the matchups here would be a little bit slower. So just being able to keep the cards flowing every single time, every single turn, be able to draw two additional cards was was good. I mean, you just out advantage your opponent. Uh, and then the one soul charge, obviously skill charge. Um, trap cards, best trap. Two nine pillars of the Yang Zing. Negate a card, shuffle it back in the deck, and then destroy Yang Zing, searchable, broken. Uh, and then two Solemn Strike, because uh, strikes the boat. So that was main deck, 40 cards. Extra deck, it's going to be kind of weird, but that's because I knew what people were playing against. So um, I played the one Dolka, no Lagia, Lagia sucks. So, well, okay, so Lagia doesn't suck, but this deck naturally puts out multiple negates, and so you generally want to create quantity negates over quality negates. So you don't need to worry about the one summon or the one spell they're going to play because your deck generally generates negates of that anyway. So generating more monster negates is like more important. Um, so that's why I chose Dolko over Lagia. So it's some logic to my head. I don't know if it's to you, but I don't care. Uh, one Dweller, a lot of graveyard stuff. Again, Dinosaur and True Draco is expected to be the big ones. Um, for the rank nines, one Calamities, uh, never made it. And Blathnir, card's freaking incredible. Trishlin of Blathnir is like the best play ever. Uh, and I have, I have Minerva in here. I knew one of the better players today was going to be playing Light Swan, so it's in there for a Cherry's target. Um, Deco Talker, uh, I never made it. Uh, I actually used this as a D as a cherry target one time as well, but I uh, never made it. Uh, for the Synchros, you got the Herald of Arclight, uh, really good card, negates um, anything, and it's also a macro, which people forget that happens. 
So if I ended up playing against like you know uh, the White Swarm deck that my friend was playing or the Mirror Match stuff like that, you make this and it just like it really disrupts your opponent's plays. Just from not, before the negates, it disrupts your opponent's plays, which is nice. Uh, one Chambara OTK. I made this like a bunch today. Uh, best synchro in Yu-Gi-Oh. Two Dang Longs. I, I actually fully believe that this is the best synchro in the game. Uh, it generates advantage at every step of the way that it's on the field. It comes into play, you get a card, then you get bury a card, and then you get a card when it leaves. So it's like at every step, you're just getting more cards, which is incredible. So two Dang Long, uh, you keep recycling them, which is nice. Um, one Black Rose Dragon. Uh, Black Rose Dragon, it's not much more to say. It's really good in this set because you can make it with, you'll make it with have like a baby and a Lithosasm and a Yang Zing on board when you make this. So then you get all three of their effects and you just, you Black Rose and then you end up with three or four monsters on the board, which is funny. Um, one Omega to recycle cards. So that's Omega, it's best on Light Seeker in the game. Uh, one Baksha, Baksha is incredible. Summon, spins cards back to the deck and then you get to pop cards to recycle cards. So you um you can keep popping like bull uh, bullcrap babies to summon Harold back and keep that float and stuff like that. that's really solid. Um, one Trishula, <laughs> the best synchro like ever. Like Megan Trishula is just like you'll just win the game. It's so good. And then one Chao Feng. Uh, I never made this today. This is another card that was designed to just be an out to masterpiece. You make Danglong and you get out your level four and you synchro into this and now you have a uh, um, Chao Feng that your opponent cannot activate light or fire monster attacks and uh, so they can't even attempt to activate the masterpiece pop and this is going to be 33 so it's bigger than it with a diagram on board. So this is designed to be an out to masterpiece, but I didn't play any true Dracos today. So, um, and then side deck, um, you know, we got some, some Dragon Balls. You know, card get, card game's fun. Get into it, guys. I'm trying to get a bigger uh, thing. Um, two barriers. Uh, I knew there would be some more dinosaurs. There was other dinosaur players here today, so I figured um, after they make their trying to make their Danglong push, you just debarrier the synchros and you stop them for the turn, which is nice. Um, two DDGs, again, I knew my friend was playing Light Sworn, so I just spe specifically sided for him. Um, two Decrees, um, so this was actually last minute thrown in last night. I was actually watching the world stream and I saw this kid just dumpstering everyone with Chainburn. And I was like, man, I would get dumpstered by Chainburn. I'm gonna, in case anyone else was watching and gets the idea, I'm gonna put some cards in for it. Probably the wrong idea, but I don't care. That's what I did, two Decrees, never sided him in. Um, two Light Imprisoning Mirrors. Um, this was again for the Lightsworn player, and I figured ABC would be popular, and so I figured this would just be a, a, a solid card to have against them. Actually, my finals I played against Cosmo, and I put this in because Slip Rider can't pop it, and Farm Girl can't search, so that's solid. Um, so um, these. These these are I put them away, but these are my cherries. These are I played three cherries today, so you could. Um, I knew again the new dinosaur would be the most popular. So cherrying, uh, cherries the dang long is is a massive play. But yeah, so these are the three cherries. They're in my binder now, but that's what they're supposed to be. Um, then I did two twin twisters, back row standard back row removal. I like this over cosmic cyclone just because. Uh, I don't know. Pop, I felt like popping two is better than paying a thousand to banish one. Um, yeah, and then I did two Lancia. Uh, I, I I didn't really have anything for the uh, Win Witch True Draco matchup. I wasn't sure if anyone would be playing that, so I figured this was a decent card against it. Chain it to the invocation. They have to fuse from hand at that point, or it just fizzles, and then they just kind of lose the game at that point. Um, yeah, so that's the deck. Pretty uh, pretty standard stuff. Uh, one undefeated. I lost. I don't think I lost a game today. I think I, I think I, I went 10-0. Uh, I, I, I might have lost one, but I don't think I did. Anyways, deck obviously performed amazingly. Um, so that's the profile. Got this nice old mat. Dude, such a good mat. I know, looking fresh. Uh, sh yeah, shout out to uh, k, k Games. Check them out. Check us out online. We got a bunch of good stuff. Um, shout out to everyone that let me borrow cards. All right. All right, well, congrats on your win, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.